What if you could master self-discipline by tapping into ancient wisdom? In today's video, I will teach you how to do just that with 10 Stoic Principles from Marcus Aurelius's Guide. Do you often find yourself struggling to stay focused or control your emotions? Many of you face these challenges daily, making you feel overwhelmed and stuck. But with this video, you will gain practical tools to overcome these obstacles and transform your life. Self-discipline is crucial because, without it, you risk drifting through life without purpose, always reacting rather than acting with intention. If you don't achieve this mastery, you may continue to feel lost and frustrated. So stay tuned, because by the end of this video, you will have the key to a more controlled, fulfilling life. On building on that, let's dive into understanding the basics of Stoicism. This is where your journey begins. Think of Stoicism as a toolkit for life. It's not just about philosophy. It's about practical wisdom you can use every day. At its core, Stoicism teaches you how to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. It's like having a guide who helps you stay calm in the storm and focused on what truly matters. Now, why is this significant for you? Imagine facing each day with a clear mind and a steady heart. Understanding Stoicism gives you that clarity. It helps you separate what you can control from what you can't, making your path to self-discipline much smoother. Without this foundation, you risk getting lost in the noise and distractions of daily life, constantly reacting to external pressures instead of acting with purpose. But there are barriers. One of the biggest obstacles is the misconception that philosophy is too complex or irrelevant. You might think, how can ancient teachings help me today? This kind of doubt can prevent you from even starting your journey. Another barrier is the fast-paced world you live in, which often pulls you away from deep thinking and reflection. If you don't grasp the basics of Stoicism, you may continue to feel overwhelmed and directionless. You'll miss out on the inner peace and strength that comes from knowing how to handle life's challenges with wisdom. This understanding is crucial because it's the first step in mastering self-discipline. Without it, the other principles won't have a solid foundation to build on. So, let's take this first step together. Dive into the simple yet profound teachings of Stoicism. As you continue to watch the rest of this video, you'll see how each principle builds on the last, leading you toward a life of greater control and fulfillment. If you don't follow through, you risk remaining in the same cycle of frustration and lack of discipline. Let me know in the comments what resonates with you. And don't forget to like this video so I know to create more content like this for you. On building on your newfound understanding of Stoicism, let's dive into the role of rationality in self-discipline. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads with emotional impulsiveness on one side and calm, rational thinking on the other. Stoicism teaches you to take the rational path, where you make decisions based on reason rather than fleeting emotions. The goal here is to help you develop a mindset that values rational thinking over emotional reactions. This is crucial because when you act rationally, you can make better decisions, stay focused on your goals, and not get swayed by temporary feelings. Imagine being able to pause, think, and then act, instead of just reacting to whatever life throws at you. Why is this so important? Because emotions can cloud your judgment and lead you astray. When you're driven by fear, anger, or even excitement, you might make choices that aren't in your best interest. But when you rely on rational thinking, you gain clarity and control. You become the driver of your life, steering it in the direction you choose, rather than being tossed around by the waves of emotion. However, there are obstacles. One major barrier is the habit of reacting emotionally. 
You might be so used to letting your feelings guide you that the idea of pausing to think feels unnatural. Another obstacle is external pressure from people and situations that provoke emotional responses. Overcoming these barriers requires practice and patience. If you don't embrace rationality, you risk making poor decisions that can derail your progress. Without this principle, self-discipline becomes nearly impossible because you're constantly battling your own emotions. You might find yourself stuck in a cycle of regret and frustration, wondering why you can't seem to stay on course. This brings us to the importance of training your mind to value rationality. It's not just about suppressing emotions, it's about understanding them and choosing to act in your best interest. As you continue to explore these principles, you'll see how each one supports the next, creating a solid framework for a disciplined and fulfilling life. This brings us to the power of embracing the present moment. Imagine standing in a beautiful garden, but instead of enjoying the vibrant flowers and the gentle breeze, you're lost in thoughts about yesterday's worries or tomorrow's plans. The goal here is to help you focus on the present, appreciating what's in front of you and making the most of it. Why is this so significant? Because when you're truly present, you experience life more fully. You notice the small joys, feel more connected to those around you, and make better decisions. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. You see things clearly and can navigate more effectively. But there are obstacles. One major barrier is the constant distraction of your mind. You might find yourself thinking about past mistakes or future anxieties, pulling you away from the present. Another obstacle is the digital age, where notifications and social media constantly vie for your attention. Overcoming these requires practice and mindfulness techniques to anchor yourself in the now. If you don't embrace the present moment, you risk living a life filled with regret and missed opportunities. Imagine looking back and realizing you were never fully there, never truly enjoying or experiencing the richness of life. Without this principle, you might find yourself always chasing something in the future, never satisfied with what you have. Building on rationality, being present allows you to apply your rational thinking in real time. It's the foundation for making conscious, thoughtful decisions that align with your goals. By focusing on now, you can catch yourself before reacting emotionally, ensuring your actions are deliberate and wise. Your thoughts on this journey are invaluable. If you find these insights helpful, please like the video and share your thoughts in the comments. Embracing these principles together will help us navigate life's challenges more effectively. If you stop now, you might miss out on the full benefits of mastering self-discipline through stoicism. On building on the importance of embracing the present moment, this brings us to distinguishing between what you can and cannot control. Think of a sailor navigating the vast ocean. The sailor knows he cannot control the wind or the waves, but he can adjust his sails and steer the ship. The goal here is to help you focus your energy on things within your control, rather than wasting it on what you cannot change. Why is this significant? Because understanding this distinction can save you from a lot of unnecessary stress and frustration. When you concentrate on what you can control, like your actions, your thoughts, and your reactions, you empower yourself to make meaningful changes in your life. It's like having a clear map and compass. You know where to go and how to get there. However, there are obstacles. One major barrier is the tendency to worry about external factors, like other people's opinions, unforeseen events, or past mistakes. These thoughts can cloud your judgment and drain your energy. Recognizing what is beyond your control and letting go of it requires conscious effort and practice. If you don't learn to distinguish between what you can and cannot control, you risk becoming overwhelmed by life's challenges. Imagine constantly battling against the wind, trying to change it instead of adjusting your sails. This leads to frustration 
anxiety, and a sense of helplessness. You'll find it difficult to focus on your goals and might end up feeling stuck and defeated. Building on the practice of being present, identifying what you can control helps you stay grounded. When you're focused on the now and recognize your circle of control, you make better decisions and take purposeful actions. It's like clearing away the fog, allowing you to see the path ahead clearly. Understanding these principles will help you navigate life's complexities with more ease and confidence. On building on the idea of focusing on what you can control, this brings us to the practice of voluntary discomfort. Think of a firefighter who undergoes rigorous training and practices drills in controlled environments to prepare for real emergencies. The goal here is to build resilience by intentionally putting yourself in challenging situations. Why is this important? Because by choosing to face discomfort willingly, you prepare yourself for the unexpected challenges life throws at you. It's like training your body in a gym to lift heavier weights. By gradually increasing the load, you become stronger and more capable. Voluntary discomfort, such as fasting, taking cold showers, or pushing through a tough workout, teaches you to endure hardships with grace and resilience. However, there are obstacles. One major barrier is the natural inclination to avoid pain and seek comfort. It's easier to stay in your comfort zone indulging in habits that offer immediate gratification but don't contribute to long-term growth. Overcoming this requires a shift in mindset, embracing the idea that discomfort is a pathway to growth. If you don't practice voluntary discomfort, you may find yourself unprepared for life's inevitable challenges. Imagine a firefighter who has never faced the heat of a blaze suddenly being thrust into a burning building. The lack of preparation can lead to panic, poor decision-making, and ultimately, failure. Without this practice, you risk becoming fragile and easily overwhelmed by adversity. Building on the previous points of staying present and focusing on what you can control, voluntary discomfort acts as a training ground for your mind and body. It equips you with the strength and resilience needed to navigate life's trials. It's like building a fortress around your inner peace, making you nearly unshakable. If you find this helpful, please give a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't miss out on the upcoming points that will further solidify your journey toward mastering self-discipline. Without fully embracing these principles, you might miss the profound transformation that Stoicism can offer. On building on the strength gained from voluntary discomfort, this brings us to the importance of daily reflection and journaling. Think of a ship's captain who logs the day's journey, noting the weather, course changes, and any obstacles encountered. The goal here is to create a habit of self-awareness and continuous improvement by reflecting on your day and recording your thoughts. Why is this so important? Daily reflection and journaling help you understand your actions reactions, and emotions. It's like holding up a mirror to your inner self, allowing you to see your growth in areas that need improvement. By writing down your thoughts, you can identify patterns, acknowledge your progress, and plan for future challenges. It's a way to track your journey and make course corrections as needed. However, there are obstacles. One major barrier is the lack of time. In a busy world filled with endless tasks and distractions, setting aside a few minutes to journal can seem difficult. An obstacle is the fear of confronting one's true self. Writing down your thoughts can sometimes reveal uncomfortable truths, and it's easier to avoid this self-confrontation. If you don't engage in daily reflection and journaling, you risk losing sight of your progress and repeating the same mistakes. Imagine a captain who never reviews the ship's log. Without this, they might sail into the same stormy waters repeatedly, never learning from past experiences. Without reflection, you miss out on the opportunity to grow and improve, leading to stagnation and frustration. 
Building on the resilience developed through voluntary discomfort, daily reflection, and journaling act as your personal logbook, guiding you on your journey towards self-discipline. It's a practice that keeps you grounded, focused, and continually moving forward. Embrace this habit to ensure you stay on the right course, avoiding the pitfalls of unexamined life and missing out on the deeper understanding that Stoicism can offer. On building on the practice of daily reflection and journaling, this brings us to living according to virtue. Imagine a knight who upholds a code of honor, always striving to be brave, just, and true. The goal here is to align your actions and decisions with core values, such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Why is living according to virtue so important? It serves as a guiding light, helping you make choices that are not only good for you, but also for those around you. By living virtuously, you build a character that is dependable, respected, and admired. It's like having a compass that always points you in the right direction, even when the path is tough. However, there are obstacles. One major barrier is the temptation to take shortcuts or make choices that benefit you in the short term, but harm your character in the long term. Peer pressure and societal norms can also push you to act against your virtues. Additionally, it can be challenging to consistently identify and choose the virtuous path, especially when it requires sacrifice or going against the crowd. If you don't strive to live according to virtue, you risk losing your moral compass and making decisions that lead to regret and self-doubt. Imagine the knight abandoning his code of honor. Without it, he becomes just another soldier, losing his unique identity and the respect of others. Without virtue, you might find yourself in situations where your actions cause harm and strife instead of good and harmony. Living according to virtue is like having a lighthouse that guides you safely through the stormy seas of life. Your feedback and likes will help shape this journey, making sure you and I continue on this path of self-discipline. Without embracing these principles, the remaining lessons may not have the impact they deserve, leaving vital gaps in your understanding and practice of Stoicism. On building on the idea of living according to virtue, this brings us to building emotional resilience. Imagine running a marathon. The goal is not just reaching the finish line, but enduring the pain, fatigue, and mental hurdles along the way. Similarly, building emotional resilience aims to help you withstand life's challenges without breaking down. Why is emotional resilience so important? It allows you to bounce back from setbacks, manage stress, and maintain a balanced perspective. Think of it as having a sturdy foundation that keeps you upright during life storms. Emotional resilience is crucial for maintaining your well-being and continuing to pursue your goals despite obstacles. However, many barriers can impede building emotional resilience. One major hurdle is the tendency to avoid difficult emotions rather than face them. This avoidance can lead to emotional suppression, which weakens your capacity to handle stress. Additionally, past traumas or negative experiences can make it hard to trust your ability to cope with new challenges. Social expectations to always appear strong can also prevent you from seeking the support you need. If you don't build emotional resilience, the negative consequences can be severe. Imagine the marathon runner who never trains. Without preparation, they are likely to drop out at the first sign of fatigue. Similarly, without resilience, you may find yourself overwhelmed by stress and unable to tackle life's inevitable challenges. This can lead to a cycle of emotional turmoil, impacting your relationships, work, and overall happiness. Building emotional resilience is like fortifying a fortress, ensuring you can withstand any siege that comes your way. It allows you to face life's adversities with strength and grace, ensuring that you remain steadfast on your journey of self-discipline and personal growth. Without this critical skill, 
The remaining lessons may fall short, leaving you ill-equipped to handle the ups and downs of life. On building on the importance of emotional resilience, this brings us to the power of community and mentorship. D Picture a thriving garden. While each plant needs its own space to grow, the overall health of the garden benefits from the presence of different species. The goal here is to leverage the collective wisdom and support of a community to bolster your journey towards self-discipline. <laughs> Why is this so significant? Think about how a group of friends can lift your spirits when you're down, or how a mentor's guidance can illuminate the path ahead. Community and mentorship provide not just emotional support, but also practical advice, accountability, and inspiration. They serve as mirrors, reflecting your strengths and areas for growth, ensuring you don't stagnate in your journey. However, several obstacles can stand in the way of harnessing this power. One common barrier is isolation. Whether self-imposed or due to external circumstances, isolation can make you feel like you're navigating life's challenges alone. Another obstacle is the fear of vulnerability. Opening up to others requires trust and courage, which can be daunting. Lastly, finding the right mentors and community can be challenging, as not every group or individual will align with your values and goals. Failing to engage with a supportive community and mentorship can have detrimental consequences. Imagine a lone tree standing in an open field, without the shelter and support of other trees. It's more vulnerable to harsh weather. Similarly, Without a community, you may struggle with self-doubt, lack of direction, and feeling overwhelmed by challenges. This isolation can hinder your progress, making it harder to achieve self-discipline and personal growth. Your journey is much more profound when shared with others who lift you up and guide you. To fully benefit from this video, your engagement is crucial. Like, share your thoughts, and subscribe to ensure you don't miss out on the remaining lessons. Missing out could leave gaps in your understanding, preventing you from fully mastering the art of self-discipline. Building on the strength of community and mentorship, let's delve into the realm of consistent self-improvement and lifelong learning. Imagine that your life is like a river. Just as a river constantly flows and evolves, you must also continually seek opportunities to grow and learn. The goal here is to embrace the mindset that learning never stops and that every day offers a new chance to better yourself. Why is this important? Think of a craftsman who owns their skills over decades, continually refining and perfecting their art. Consistent self-improvement and lifelong learning keep you adaptable, knowledgeable, and ahead of the curve. They ensure that you never become stagnant, but instead are always evolving into a better version of yourself. However, several obstacles can hinder this pursuit. One significant barrier is complacency. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that you've learned enough or that further improvement isn't necessary. Another obstacle is the fear of failure. Trying new things often comes with the risk of not succeeding right away, and this can be discouraging. Finally, time constraints can make it difficult to prioritize learning and improvement amidst daily responsibilities. The negative consequences of neglecting this principle are profound. Imagine a tree that stops growing, eventually, it withers and loses its vitality. Similarly, without a commitment to self-improvement and learning, you risk becoming irrelevant, stuck in outdated methods and thinking patterns. This stunts your personal and professional growth, leaving you unprepared to face new challenges. To fully benefit from everything discussed in this video, your engagement and commitment to lifelong learning are vital. Remember to subscribe and like this video for more content that helps you grow and evolve. Your journey doesn't end here. It is an ongoing adventure filled with limitless potential. Missing out could mean missing the key to unlocking your fullest potential. Stay curious, 
Stay disciplined and keep striving for greatness.